Hello all. In this session, we'll discuss about style template in Oracle Fusion BI. So what is style template and why do we use it? So style template, technically it is an RTF file or an RTF template that contains a style information. And this style information will be applied to another main RTF templates. So what is the benefit of using this particular style template is you can have a, a similar look and feel across your enterprise reports and also will have a same header and footer or logos or maybe a format of your table or a font across all your reports in your organization. And it helps you, you know, like maintain the set of, you know, like um, formats across all template and helps, you know, changing them easily rather than changing all templates you can just simply change the style template and just apply the style template so that it will be easy to manage and generally what are the changes we what are the you know like um, styles we generally use it for changing us like a paragraphs heading style table style header and footer okay now let us see how do we implement the style template okay so the first thing what we do is we'll create a data model and generate a sample data using the sample data we'll create a main rtf template and then the third step, what we do is we'll upload the we'll create a report and upload the main RTF template. So the, the first three three steps are a normal steps which we generally follow when you want to create a report based on RTF template. Now coming to the a report based on RTF like uh, the style template, what we do is we'll create a style template which is an RTF file in the fourth step and upload the style template. And then what we do is on the main report template which we created in the third step. We'll apply this particular style template and also enable checkbox on the template. Okay, so now let us try to implement all these six steps one by one. Okay, now the first thing what we do is we have to prepare our data model. So our data model will be based on this particular query, the business unit query. So I'll go to my instance, the BIP instance, click on new, and you could see the style template here. Okay, the first first thing what we do is we'll start with creation of a data model. So I'll just save the data model. Okay. Let me try again. Yeah, the seems got stuck. Let me try another browser. So I just open here. Okay, let me try new data model. I'll just save it first in the custom shared custom folder, and here in the Aura Trainings folder, I prefer to stay store all be your be your list DM. Okay, this is my data model. I'll copy the query. Now, in the diagram, click on SQL query. Mention the data set name. Okay. So we may not require all the elements, right? So what we can do is either we can change the query to just include what we require. I'll just try to have only BU ID, BU name, status, creation date. Okay, the four elements four columns we just have it save it click on data click on view table view and our report i mean data model is almost ready so i'll just simply click on export this will generate an xml file okay so i'll just get the data model so now what we do next open ms word create a new custom template new blank document from the ms word and we'll save the file first and i'll just name it as all bu list tmpl which is our main template okay which is our main template rtf file and here in the bi publisher load the sample xml data table wizard select the four columns and finish okay so our template is almost ready next thing what we do is we'll upload the template okay so i'll just go to the browser
click on create a report and here click on use report editor the data model is already selected now click on finish so this is asking now to mention what is a report name all be your list report click on save the report got saved now we have to upload the template click on upload choose the template the main template we call this as main template rtf template english upload now you can just click on view as a list and here you could see there are two things one is apply style template and the other one is apply style template there are two things we have it as of now we have not defined our style template we just designed only our main report template I think but till three steps we have finished now let us click on view report and see the output so we just got the output now what we do is we'll create a new template so here if you observe as for the steps the first three steps we have finished now now let us finish the remaining three steps so coming to the fourth step what we do is i'll just create a new style template so i'll just open ms word and save the file open ms word save the file as i'll just say I'll just say all BU list style TMPL and make sure the file extension is RTF. Okay, so I'll just click on insert header and footer. We'll just try to have it right. So just click on insert header. We'll say BU list details report. And let us say if you at all if you want to have some logo kind of thing, what we can do is click on insert table okay so we can just insert one more column insert column to the left or right maybe let us say right side let's say we'll just insert some a sample graphical box or icon we can do but well, it's okay I just insert it. Assume this is my logo. Okay. Let me insert. It's okay. So this is our logo, this header. Now let's say footer. Okay, this is our style template. We just which has just an header information as well as footer information. Okay, so of course this is not that much good, but we just try how it works, right? Right. Let's say I don't want to have any border. Yeah. Let's close this one. Now what we do? So let us create. Click on new, click on style template. Now let us upload our style template. Okay. So click on new style template. Now it is asking us to upload style, I mean, upload a file or nothing but a style template. So I'll just choose the style template for all BU list style team TMPL and locale as English. Click on save. And we have to mention. We have to mention the name for our style template. So I'll just mention all be your list style TMPL. Okay. So click on save and click on return. Now, next thing what we do, we'll go to our main report. All be your list. This is our data model. All be list is our main report. Click on edit. And here, Click on view as a list. 
here in the apply style template, click on this magnifying glass icon and select the style template. You can only select only style template. You cannot select any other file at all. Click on style template and make sure that you check this checkbox. Then only it will get applied. Save it. Now try view report and see how it works. Right. In the HTML format, you may not see the exact output. You can try the PDF. Right, we got the logo, we got the header, and you can just see the footer also. Right. This is how the this is how we can apply a style template in the RTF file. Okay, thank you.